uno que ya no.
recording in progress. हाँ हाँ जी यही कर रहा हूँ मैं नहीं करना भी यही ये देखना एक बार इसकी बंद करना मुझे म्यूट कर दे
No, 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 this. कितने वो आए हैं अब तेरे कितने आने थे और
Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Rahul from uh, Cape Breton University. Can you please? Uh, I would request the host to allow me to share my screen. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Guys, I would request you to be on mute. Uh, okay. I hope you all can see the screen now. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, so today uh, we would be talking about Cape Breton University and the location where it is situated. Uh, guys, there are a lot more uh, people coming in, joining the session. They are asking for the permission, so uh, please take care of it. Okay, so uh, let's begin the session. Let me just... Okay, yeah. All right, so uh, we'll be talking about Cape Breton University here, uh, as well as the location where it is situated. And... Uh, We'll be talking about what all advantages, what all uh, benefits you can have here uh, while studying in Cape Breton University. Uh, we'll start with the location first, uh, where Cape Breton University is situated. Uh, meanwhile, the session, guys, if you have any queries, anything you want to ask, any doubts you have, uh, you can put your questions and query in the chat section or Q&A section. I will get back to you uh, with the best possible answers for your uh, queries after the session. So uh, let's talk about uh, where Cape Breton University is situated. Uh, that's in Nova Scotia in Canada. And in Nova Scotia, we have a province uh, which is called Cape, uh, which is called uh, Nova Scotia. And in Nova Scotia, we have uh, one island uh, which is called Cape Breton Island. Uh, Cape Breton Island, uh, which is connected with the mainland. So it is connected with the mainland. So commuting to this island is very convenient. It's not like it's far away. Uh, you have to go by ship, by uh, flights only. That's uh, not mandatory. You can even uh, go by drive to this island. And on this Cape Breton island, uh, we have a city, Sydney. Sydney in Canada, in Nova Scotia, on Cape Breton island. And this Cape Breton island is number one beautiful island in entire Canada. Number one beautiful island in Northern America. And one of the most beautiful islands in the world. Then uh, the location has got different advantages, different benefits for you guys. We'll start uh, with different advantages like uh, number one, weather conditions. If I talk about weather conditions, so it is quite favorable here. We have, uh, we have different uh, uh, seasons here, uh, like spring, summer, fall, winter. Uh, Nova Scotia is considered as second uh, warmest province in entire Canada. And uh, on this uh, Cape Breton Island, especially the weather conditions, it remains moderate most of the time throughout the year. Uh, in every season, we have different temperatures, like spring uh, and fall remains in between 10 to 20 degrees. Summer, it goes even up to 25, 30 degrees, quite hot during summer. Uh, during winter season, it remains in between zero to minus nine, minus 10. Uh, so that sort of uh, that sort of uh, weather temperature we have here in Nova Scotia, especially on Cape Breton Island. Uh, next, uh, moving next, uh, we have uh, different uh, other advantages. Number two, which is uh, something related to your medical insurance. If I talk about medical insurance, right? 
so usually any student going to canada for further studies uh, they must purchase they have to buy medical insurance every year they have to get it renewed they have to spend some amount for that around 800 to 1000 maybe uh, so if you going to nova scotia for the studies so first year you have to purchase you have to buy medical insurance but from second year onwards but from second year onwards uh, you'll be getting uh, you'll be offered one medical card uh, which is uh, uh, msi card medical service insurance after 12 months of spending in nova scotia you can apply for msi card and then you meet your all the medical expenses free of cost through this msi card Uh, so that's the service available in only uh, Nova Scotia in entire Canada. Uh, then number uh, third, uh, we have your living expenses. Uh, the kind of living expenses we have here in uh, Sydney city, Nova Scotia. So that is quite economic. That is affordable, around five to six hundred dollars a month, including your room rent and your groceries for the month. Next. Uh, international exposure yes uh, you get international exposure here because we have uh, varieties of these students here or from different countries so we we have a lot more foreigner population at this place and uh, we do have indian population as well but that is balanced somewhere so uh, for an example in cape breton university we have around 5500 students out of which around 1000 indian students we have and uh, around uh, 1300 we have uh, uh, students from other 50 countries like uh, we have students from asia africa germany japan russia uh, even from uh, uk united kingdom singapore so we have students from uh, different countries studying here so you get multicultural environment on campus so indian population is there other population is there local students so we have more than 3000 maximum we have local students canadians not only from nova scotia from different part of the canada so mixed of the culture you are getting here mixed of the people you are getting here uh, and uh, uh, that is actually needed uh, for any international student because of uh, for your you know better development in future uh, then if we talk about next advantage that is the kind of fee structure we have in cape breton university being a public university uh, that is quite competitive i'll let you know the fee structure program wise very soon uh and uh rest uh last but not the least that is something uh, retail related to your settlement you can look for settlement option here in nova scotia uh, which is quite convenient and easiest i would say so you can refer to cic official website for that uh you can study about aipp and pnp uh then uh, let's talk about a bit about a uh, university which is cape breton university public university it is government funded institution it is with the history of almost 70 years and it has got a big campus beautiful campus in sydney city uh, with world class infrastructure where we have own campus football ground basketball court tennis court gym restaurant cafeteria library labs workshops uh, research center where scientists doing researches all the facilities which a public university must have a uh, separate building for every department and cbu's campus is known as number one self energy generating campus so which means cbu is generating their own electricity which is known as number one in this uh, atlantic canada region uh then moving next next guys uh, uh the location of the campus is not too far away just 5 uh, minutes away from sydney airport and uh, from downtown sydney center area it takes only 10 minutes to travel and uh, public transport is available public transport is available uh, you do not need to walk around to have a public transport just in front of the university's entrance uh, there is a bus shelter uh, there is a bus stop where by the name of university only uh, from where you can have the buses to travel uh, to other places uh, at the in the area and uh, that's quite convenient and uh, within every 15 20 minutes you get a bus to travel to towards uh, downtown or somewhere else you want to go to uh, then uh, we have a variety of the programs available here uh, we'll start with a uh, business programs first of all so here in business programs we have a shannon school of business 
Shannon School of Business, uh, which is the building we have within CBU's campus where we conduct our all the business related classes. Uh, under this faculty, we have BBA Bachelor of Business Administration for four years, uh, 120 uh, with uh, 120 credits, worldwide recognized bachelor degree, uh, where we have different majors available like marketing, supply chain management, accounting, economics, finance, legal studies, human resources, and tourism marketing. And students uh, from uh, a commerce background in year 12 or even non-medical background, PCM background can apply for BBA. Or if somebody has studied uh, something related to business or uh, commerce can study uh, BBA in Cape Breton University. Uh, fee structure is around $18,000 per year, including your uh, one year medical insurance. And then we have Bachelor of Hospitality and Tourism Management. Uh, that's the program which is highly in demand because the location is known for hospitality and tourism industry. That's the biggest industry we have got at this place in Nova Scotia, especially on Cape Breton Island. Uh, the duration is three years and within three years, a student gets two internships, paid internships. So a student would be getting salary as well during these industries, uh, sorry, the, during this, uh, uh, during this, um, what we say, um, three years uh, degree. And uh, during this uh, internships, uh, this student would be getting paid as well. So that is uh, about, uh, uh, you know, uh, the BHTM program and the fee structure is similar to the BBA one, even the uh, requirement is similar. Student from uh, commerce background or even non-medical PCM background can join. Or if you some if somebody has studied something related to math or uh, business, like economics, sometimes uh, arts students they study, so they can also join. Uh, now we have post baccalaureate diplomas. Post baccalaureate diplomas, where we have uh, uh, where we have uh, four different diplomas available for two years: supply chain management, business management, business analytics, healthcare management. Uh, the duration is two years and uh, for three semesters, you would be attending classes for one semester. Uh, that is uh, your work term. That would be your you know practical exposure. Uh, and uh, if I talk about uh, the requirement, guys, uh, if you are a bachelor degree holder, three years, four years, you can look for these options. And uh, a fee structure is around $27,000 for entire two years, including your medical insurance for these post baccalaureate diplomas. So you must be a degree holder, a degree holder to apply for these programs. And uh, next we have MBA, MBA in Community Economic Development for two years, uh, where student must have a bachelor degree in any discipline. Uh, also GMAT is uh, required for that. So here uh, I'm getting a message. Give me a minute, guys. Meanwhile, guys, if you have any queries, anything you want to ask, uh, you can uh, uh, put in chat section. Uh, moving next, uh, we can have programs related to uh, schools, science, and technology. There are technical programs available in Cape Breton University. Number one, BET, Bachelor of Engineering Technology. Uh, Bachelor of Engineering Technology, here uh, we have three years degree, UG degree with 90 credits. And uh, if you want to complete this uh, within uh, two years even, uh, you can uh, get an exit after two years even. Uh, there are four different options available, electronics and control instrumentation, one and only degree available in Canada, that's in CBU. Then petroleum engineering, very limited of institutions offering uh, petroleum engineering. Then we have environmental studies and chemical. These options we have uh, for students who are from non-medical background, year 12 pass out, PCM background, they can apply for. Even 
uh, students who have got diplomas in engineering like polytechnic diplomas but that should be three years diploma the student uh, has uh, already studied and on the basis of that also a student can apply uh, fee structure is around eighteen thousand dollars per year including your medical insurance for one year uh, we have got post degree option in similar areas uh, available as well if somebody has got a bachelor degree already in technical like uh, engineering or something like that but uh, that should be four years degree uh, you must have studied four years degree uh, included mathematics and uh, mathematics must be there and uh, chemistry should be also there then you can apply for two years post degree in electronics and control petroleum environmental and chemical uh, phase structure is around $28,000 for entire two years, including your medical insurance for two years. Uh, next, we have uh, one more engineering program, which is the UG1. Bachelor of Engineering Transfer 2 plus 2, Transfer Diploma Program it is. For initially two years, you would be studying in CBU. For the rest of the two years, you can have a transfer to Dalhousie University, Halifax. Dalhousie University is... Uh, uh, you know, that comes from the top ranked universities of Canada. Uh, the campus is in Halifax City, which is capital of Nova Scotia, three hours drive from Sydney City. And uh, here there's, there's a choice. If you want to go for uh, Dalhousie, that's fine. You can go ahead. Otherwise, you get a two years diploma uh, from Cape Breton University. So in short, I can say we are available with two years uh, of UG diploma uh, in Cape Breton University in engineering. If you want to complete just a diploma, two years UG. Uh, where we have different options available like civil, mechanical, chemical, electrical, and computer, a material, industrial, mineral resource, environmental. The fee structure is around $18,000 per year, including one year medical insurance. The students from PCM, non medical background, can apply year 12. Even uh, diploma holders like Polytechnic three years can also apply. And then we have a Bachelor of Science, a BSc, available for three years as well as four years for the option available here the students uh, there are so many students in india they go for uh, they study uh, year 12 in medical stream without mathematics so sometimes you study medical stream year 12 without mathematics for such students we have limited option available in canada in Capitan university we have three option available bsc biology bsc chemistry and BSc psychology as well, three years, four years, for the option available. For BSc mathematics, it is mandated to have mathematics in year 12. Also, uh, BSc chemistry, non-medical, medical, both the students can go for because both the students, they study chemistry. And um, the fee structure is around uh, $17,800 yearly, including your medical insurance for one year. Uh, now we have programs related to arts. In arts, we have two degrees, Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Arts Community Studies. Uh, both are with three years and four years duration. And uh, we have different majors available in, in these degrees like communication, applied theater, dramatic literature, English, French, music, history, political science, religious studies, sociology, psychology, philosophy, uh, sport and physical activity leadership. We have a sports program as well. That's a very, very good program for the students. Sports program. So you can uh, go for a sport program as well in Cambridge University, a physical education program as well. Uh, that is for three years uh, or four years, both the option available. Also, we have got a diploma, two years. Two years, a UG diploma in public administration and management. Uh, so these are the programs available for the students uh, who have studied English in year 12. I think almost all these students in every board, they study English in year 12. And uh, such students uh, become eligible for these three programs. Fee structure is same for all the three, around $17,800 per year, including your one year medical insurance. Uh, then we have uh, programs related to health. Uh, Bachelor of Health Sciences, Public Health, a very, very popular program. Uh, for four years, standard bachelor degree worldwide recognized with 120 credits. Here it is required to have math along with medical stream in year 12. So you must have mathematics along with medical stream in year 12 to apply for public health degree, bachelor degree. And uh, we are available with two years post degree option as well in public health. If somebody has got a bachelor degree already in health areas like uh, MBBS degree you have, uh, uh, BDS you have, nursing, pharmacy or any other or uh, related degree of where you must have studied, you must have studied um, 
chemistry as well as microbiology as a main subject in year 12 sorry not year 12 uh, during your degree uh, with overall 55% marks you can apply for two years post degree in public health and uh, after public health program guys you become eligible to appear for one exam which is cphi certification of public health inspector and uh, if you qualify this exam cphi uh, you become certified public health inspector. You become licensed in Canada. Becoming licensed in Canada is a big deal. Now you can go ahead uh, for, you know, for the jobs in public as well as private sectors. Fee structure is around $17,800 per year, including your medical insurance for one year. Uh, there are uh, two more programs available, which are not uh, mentioned here in slides. Uh, one is BSc Nutrition we have. The requirement is as same as the UG program, public health, I told you. Uh, fee structure is also same. Also, we have BSc Nursing. BSc Nursing available for three years. Uh, the requirement is really high for that. Uh, you must have mathematics along with medical stream in year 12, as well as uh, you must appear one online test, which is called Casper, uh, you can uh, Google about it. You can have a detail online. Also, uh, percentage requirement is quite high in terms of uh, this uh, BSc nursing, 85% you must have. So that's about nursing. So these are the programs available in Cape Breton University for the Indian students, guys. Uh, there are different campus facilities. We have like academic advising, tutoring services, health center with doctor, nurse, and physiotherapist, uh, different counseling session provided free of cost. Uh, free immigration support we provide on, on campus. Uh, usually students in Canada, they visit immigration lawyers to have any sort of visa help, any support, any, any uh, you know, guidance. So the same services provided by Cape Breton University on campus, uh, free of cost through certified immigration officers. And uh, that is, uh, you know, you can have an appointment and you can meet them uh, directly. Uh, we, we provide free airport pickup and uh, you get free airport pickup and drop from CBU only. Uh, then uh, uh, different cultural activities we keep having on campus, different entertainment services are available on campus. Uh, different sports events keep happening. We are very much into sports. We are known for sports activities as well. We are available, available with three of the intakes in a year, September, January, and May. Currently, we are open for January, uh, sorry, September intake. September 2021 intake is still available. Almost all the programs available except nursing only. Nursing is not available. Otherwise, all the programs available. Uh, the last date to apply for September 2021 is 10th of June. Before 10th of June, you must submit your application if you are planning to apply for January, sorry, uh, September 21. Uh, otherwise, we are available with January 22 as well. Uh, the standard processing time is three to four weeks, but currently, if I talk about the timeline to have an offer letter is a maximum 10 to 15 days. Within 10 to 15 days, you get the offer letter from CBU. You need to submit your all these scanned color scanned copies of documentation. Uh, language requirement, that's very, very important to know about, guys. Uh, language requirement, if uh, you are planning to appear for IELTS or you already taken IELTS, so it should be 6.5 November Lesson 6 for all the programs. For PT, we look at only overall scores, that should be 59. TOEFL, again, we look at only overall scores, that should be 80. Uh, Duolingo is also accepted for admission purpose, that should be 115 for UG programs, 120 for PG post degree programs. And if you have English medium background, you studied from English medium background, you can apply on the basis of your English medium background as well. You can submit MOI, Minimum of Instruction Letter, to have admission in Cape Breton University. At the same time, it is highly recommended at the time of visa application, you must have decent scores in any of the tests, like IELTS, PT, or TOEFL, which are accepted by the High Commission. Uh, then moving next, accommodations available on campus. If you want to stay on campus in CBU's campus itself, so that's available. Uh, we have three different types of accommodation, dormitory, apartment style, and private rooms. Uh, the price range, it varies from $2,500 to $3,500 uh, as, uh, as per the accommodation per term per semester it is. Even you want to look at off-campus accommodation, so there's a link given. Uh, you can go to the website, cbu.ca, uh, where you can have even about uh, an idea about the off-campus uh, accommodations available at the place. Uh, in terms of the education gap, guys, uh, education gap is acceptable. There's no such restrictions we have. If you have an uh, education gap of 10 years, 15 years, 20 years even, you can apply. Uh, 
there is no restrictions we have in terms of education gap and age even if you have got age of uh, more than 35 uh, 40 even more than 40 even uh, you can apply so that's acceptable in cape Breton university um, in terms of uh, part-time jobs availability yes there are part-time jobs available i know so many students who just recently went for this uh, main take uh, during this COVID situation even they have got the job they have been doing the job the nova scotia province is not that impacted by covid uh, there are some rules and regulations issued by the uh, provincial government and uh, the federal government you have to follow but at the same time uh, i must tell you that it is not that impacted you can walk on road it, it, that is uh, you know the restrictions is, uh, are not that high as compared to the other locations in canada which are highly impacted by covid so it is not that impacted uh, pretty fine there are uh, you know if you want to buy groceries you can go to the uh, stores there uh, it is available there so there are uh, different uh, jobs available uh, to give you an idea on campus part-time jobs uh, are also available uh, for that uh, you know uh, you can meet the students union on campus we have students union on campus helping students for part-time jobs accommodation or any other support they are required on campus as well as off campus and uh, on campus, you could have different types of uh, part-time jobs, like you can be a tutor, you could be, um, you know, in different department, you could be uh, playing in different roles, project coordinator, something like that. And university pays a very, very good amount for that. It could be from $16 per hour to uh, $25 per hour, even uh, depending on job. Most of the on-campus jobs, they'll find the skilled jobs. So if you're meeting the skill set, uh, you can have a job on campus as well. If I talk about off-campus part-time jobs availability, so off-campus part-time jobs are also available. Uh, there are, uh, you know, it, it's a hospitality hub, it's a tourism hub. So here we have so many uh, different uh, hospitality, uh, you know, uh, the businesses like we have hotels, resorts, uh, restaurants, uh, cruise ships, it runs. Uh, even we have retail stores, different retail stores, shopping malls, uh, fuel pumps. So such are, are the major option uh, where you can look for your part-time jobs. And yes, students I have seen getting good jobs. Uh, there was a student, uh, Ravi went to, uh, uh, went to university. He is staying in Sydney only. He got four different job offers part-time basis. And he went for this uh, main take only. And there's one, another student, she, she uh, had medical background. Uh, she got three different jobs. One is in a Walmart. Uh, second one uh, is in uh, a COVID vaccination center and third one is uh, uh, in a COVID center, right? So she has three different offers. And uh, one of the students I was talking to, uh, Manoj, yesterday I was talking to him. So he also got an offer letter from uh, McDonald's. Uh, he is very soon going to join the, uh, the part-time job. So there are availability. It's, it's just that you need a full proof plan for that. So these are about the part-time jobs, uh, jobs availability, guys. And now we can have your questions. Uh, uh, okay, let me just go through the questions we have, guys. Uh, at my end, I can see only two questions here. Uh, uh, admin, uh, do uh, are you getting the questions from the students at your end? So here I can see Bhupinder is asking percentage requirement in last academy for PG post degree program. Uh, Bhupinder, if you have got even a minimum 50% in your bachelor degree, you could have some option in Cape Breton University. So even 50, 55%, that is acceptable. Uh, the page is asking this uh, meeting is only for this. Okay. Uh, yeah, the page, this is for Cape Breton University only, uh, Nova Scotia. Uh, so there's no other question I can see. Uh, Okay, so meanwhile, guys, I just tell you uh, some some more point. Uh, what all are the major industries we are available with here in Nova Scotia? Uh, the biggest one is hospitality and tourism, as I said. Uh, then we have uh, uh, the mining, which is happening at a larger scale. We have petroleum industry here, as well as uh, we have uh, e-commerce industry, logistics, uh, and import export because we have ports here in Nova Scotia, Canada's biggest ports. We have shipment; it happens. Also, we have IT industry in Halifax City that is known for IT industry. Uh, we have uh, different, uh, you know, uh, manufacturing units in different cities. Also, Nova Scotia is becoming a biotech hub of uh, the Canada, and uh, 
Mm, we have one more industry that is uh, a bit interesting to know about. Uh, film and television industry uh, in Atlantic Canada, in entire Atlantic Canada, Nova Scotia has got the biggest film and television industry. And even there are the, so many, you know, the popular Hollywood movies uh, shooted here in Nova Scotia. Titanic was one of those. Even, uh, yeah, if I talk about, yes, a part-time job, uh, sorry, part-time uh, pay scale of campus, uh, I missed uh, to tell you about, uh, that is around $13 per hour. Thirteen dollars per hour. You get it here. If you you know see your uh, living expense, that is only five to six hundred dollars around, and uh, you are getting thirteen dollars per hour. That's quite good. Sounds good. So that's about Cape Breton University and the location, guys. And also, I want to advise you if you already holding the offer letter for any institution, uh, even if it is for, from CBU. I would recommend to go ahead, make your fees payment and apply your visa for September 2021. You can still apply for your visa for September 2021. Uh, the portal is working. There is nothing like uh, you cannot apply. It, it is not open. No, it is open. You can apply for September 21, your visa, because uh, you know there are a lot more applications already in queue. So you have to be pre-planned. If you're waiting that, uh, you know, uh, let the lockdown open, like the things, uh, uh, this COVID things over, then we will plan, we will pay, we will apply. So that would be too late because there are already so many students who are in queue waiting, uh, waiting to open that, you know, the biometric thing, VFS, uh, because they are already having biometric letter. You can go for biometric only if you have biometric letter in hand. And the biometric letter you get only once you are applied your visa application online, right? Then only you can book your biometric appointment. Otherwise, you would be waiting. So students who have already applied, they are standing in queue, waiting for their turn, right? Spending their time waiting. But the student who are sitting at home, haven't applied for visa, haven't paid fees. They are just waiting at home. Uh, so that is, you know, you are wasting your time being at home. Pretty simple because... Canada is all about first come first serve basis. If you apply at right time, you'll get your outcome at right time and you'll be able to get your visa stamped on your passport and then you can uh, book your flight and reach Canada. So, it's very simple. It's a very simple fund. The more you apply, the more you get the outcome and the more you can get your travel plan. Kar paate ho, jo bhi aapko approvals, letters, ya jo bhi formalities karni hai, accommodation, quarantine, wo sab bhi book karna hota hai. Abhi uh, formality bahut zada bad gaya hai. So now you have to book your quarantine period as well. Uh, your accommodation in three days, four, uh, three days in Toronto, then another 11 days in Nova Scotia. So you have to do that as well. So you need sufficient time for that too. So you have to be pre-planned. At least one intake prior, you have to plan, you should plan. If you are planning for September 21 now, so you will definitely be able to join January 22. So this is something happening, taking longer time than before now. Uh, let's see if we have got any other question here. Uh, can we apply for conditional offer letter? See, uh, on what basis, uh, Preeti, if you are asking for conditional offer letter, on what basis you are asking? Uh, if you are talking about uh, IELTS, uh, English test, which is uh, not happening right now because of uh, the COVID restrictions. So uh, I would recommend you apply on the basis of medium of instruction letter and get your unconditional offer letter directly. And uh, once the IELTS is open, you can go ahead for IELTS exam and uh, apply your visa, right? And if it is about, about academics, you are used to appear for your final exam. You are used to get your final result in hand. So then you have to wait. Uh, Cape Breton University is not releasing any conditional offer on the basis of academic requirement. So guys, uh, this is all from my side. If, if somebody who want to speak, who want to talk, can unmute and con talk to me, but one by one, guys. Is there anyone who uh, wants to speak to me?
you can unmute and talk guys all right guys then i think uh, we should uh, sign off thank you so much for joining this session and uh, if for further queries you can get back to the all scans uh, education here and they'll be helping you out uh, we are the uh, you know official partner so we can go ahead uh, with the communication if you want to speak to me separately as well you can ask oscans uh, team there they can book an appointment and then we can have a talk thank you guys thanks a lot stay safe stay healthy bye bye take care thank you so